climbed about a thousand feet so far. <sighs> and have a lot more to go. The Guardsman Pass ride. Okay, I did not want to do this ride. Did not want to do it. And the reason why is of all the climbs I've done, this one scares me the most. <sighs> okay. <sighs> because it is 4,000 feet of elevation gain, less than nine miles. And so there are some tough, tough portions of this climb. And there's one turn in particular that is, if you kind of go across the road and then back, it's probably not as bad, but I decided to stay on my side of the road because it's kind of a blind corner. I didn't want to get hit by a car. Anyway, so I took this and my tire is actually coming off of the road. I just went up the steepest turn. You know it's steep when your front tire starts coming off. It's only like 30 feet, but anyway, the, the point is super, super steep. The grades on here, there's a couple of places to get up to 18%, and there's some 15%. Thankfully right now, the grade's probably only about an 8%. You almost get used to that, like it's a little rest. Uh, last time I did it, which was two years ago, uh, it was the hardest ride I'd ever done. I wasn't really um, all that in, in great biking shape. I thought I was two years ago, but I was out of the saddle more than I was sitting down. And it just kicked my butt. It took like an hour and I think and a half to get up there. And uh, I was kind of, I didn't realize it would take that long, but I was just exhausted when I got to the top. And the rest of the ride I wasn't concerned about. It was just doing the Guardsman Pass portion of the ride. My whole goal is to not stop today and uh, get up to the top before falling over and dying. Look who I found. There we go. You just keep going. How you feeling? Doing good. How's actually. your leg? Not bad. We'll see on this turn. Okay, here comes another steep hill. Uh, we're at about 2,000 feet up, about halfway of our climbing. The first 2,000 feet is I think over the first like four miles. And so I was like, wait a second, I've got actually, you know, five miles left and I only have to do 2,000 feet of elevation gain. So I knew it was gonna taper off a little bit. And then I got to the point where you can either go up, kind of straight to the left, up Guardsman Pass or take a right up Empire Pass, which goes into Park City. Coming out of Wasatch Road, I'm at 3,300 feet of climbing. And now, here's the crossroads. If I go straight, I go up Guardsman Pass. If I go this way, I'm gonna go up Empire Pass. So I'm gonna go up to Guardsman, turn around, meet my dad at this three-way stop up here, and then, uh, and then I'm gonna head over to Empire Pass then down into Park City. Once you hit that three-way stop, you've got about a thousand feet of climbing up. That got tough. That was where my legs actually started to get tired. And then the last bend before getting to the pass is a really steep bend. And you're like, oh man, this does not seem fair that I've done all this climbing and I have to do this last bend. But the nice thing is you're like, I can go through this pain because I know it's almost over. Okay, I made it. I'm at about, let's see, 4,300 feet of climbing, 10.4 miles. If this wasn't cruel, the last, the last bend is so, so steep. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty popular up here. All right, well, I can rest on the, on the way down. Okay, I just saw an eagle. It was over, it was over there. Oh, there it is. See that? Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh that's beautiful, look at that. Wow. An eagle or a hawk, I'm not yeah. sure. It's probably a hawk. There are bald eagles around here, yeah. so uh, cool to see. Okay, feeling better. We're in 
Park City. Ah, the biggest climber is over. I'm so happy. I did it. Did it well. Two things that I was happy about. Uh, one is I didn't stop. And two, I didn't get out of the saddle once. That might not have been the smartest thing because you probably should to stretch your legs out, but I didn't. Um, and my legs really weren't like tired until like the last about 200 feet of climbing. So that was good. Now the sad thing is I had only gone 10 miles into the ride for the day. Most of the climbing was over, but we still had about uh, 45 miles left. Sometimes even though like in an interval session, sometimes for me, it's not the intervals that's hard. It's like the cool down period, which can be another, uh, let's say for a run, it could be another 40 minutes of running and so and you just want the the workout to be done with so the rest of the the climbing and the um the ride i was just i was just tired all right headed up the uh headed up to canvas here got a nice headwind this way well we got a lot more climbing today but shouldn't be as tiring hopefully we'll see I'm a little burned out Luckily, we got a donut. We were able to stop at a nice gas station. So we made it to Camus and um, got a very special donut from Chevron. How's your donut? Sorry, mine's almost finished, but it was so good I ate it in two bites. This is a necessity. You got to do it for the donut. Now heading back into Midway around the south end of Jordan now, that's where it kind of gets tough, especially later in the morning, um, later in the day, because there's always a south wind. And there was a brutal headwind uh, coming home. All right, one more climb for the day, then we're done. We'll be at about a little over 6,000 feet. Hopefully not more. I think we're both exhausted here. We just got back from the ride. I think I did, so almost 56 miles and almost 6,400 feet of climbing. So what did I learn from this? Um, I think that, you know, you don't have to be afraid of uh, certain rides. This wasn't a race or anything, but this was something kind of had, had been in my mind because I didn't do it last year when I was up here, mostly because I did not want to do it. I did some hard rides last year, but, but not this one. So it was really kind of nice to conquer that fear and uh, did well. I was able to get a PR on the, the segment of, of that climb. Yeah, I was able to perform really well. So happy that it was over and there's some other hard rides that I'm gonna go on uh, while I'm still up here.